How's it going folks? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install a new light bar on the front of my truck, uh, actually on my CBI front bumper, which I'm really, really excited about. This is from a company called Heretic Design Studios. And uh, on paper, the statistics on this thing look great. Um, for a 20 inch light bar, we're talking about over 14,000 lumens, um, only weighs three pounds, um, and only costs a little over 400 bucks, which in light bar terms is not that much considering. Um, and obviously, you know, if it's an eBay light bar that costs 250 or 300 bucks, um, if something goes wrong with it, good luck getting that fixed. With Heretic Design Studios, they've got awesome customer service, so you get that peace of mind as well. And so this is my first light bar by Heretic, and uh, I wanna check it out and see if it'll actually do what it's advertised to do, which is actually create a ton of light and also an easy installation process and all that. So uh, we're gonna do that, and then tonight we're gonna go check out how it actually looks in the dark. So I'm excited to get started, guys. Let's get to it. So first things first, uh, normally you'd be able to install this pretty easily with the bumper off because um, it just sits on the inside of this. But um, this bumper is kind of a pain in the butt to get to. And I even thought about taking this panel off, but you can't really do it because some of the bolts and stuff are kind of hard to reach. Uh, it's actually more trouble than it's worth. So instead, I am going to take off the front grill area and then uh, get access to the light from there, wire it up, and uh, we should be good to go. So let's get to it. First step is take off these two bolts here uh, with a 10 mil. Um, and then there's some clips like right there, right there, um, and actually probably a little further in that we have to undo. Uh, and then this thing will start getting loose. Pretty simple to do. One thing that you can optionally do, like right in there on both sides, there's there's a clip right there that I recommend you undo, which is actually more for this part of the fairing, because that allows this to be a little bit more manipulative. Um, and uh, same here. So that way, um, as you pull out the rest of this, it doesn't get caught by this little lip as much. I mean, it's going to be hard. You got to like take your time, make sure to work it gently so you don't damage anything but um, the challenge is to get this this part of the little claw over this um, and this bull bar here is uh, limiting you know the ability to move it forward so it's a little bit of a pain but we'll get through it just take your time don't freak out it'll happen all right so there you have it so this actually came out pretty easy again the trick is to make sure you remove the clips here and here on both sides. Because if you do that, then this bottom fairing moves easily and freely, which allows you to get that front grill over this little triangle section right here. So that's a little tip. Um, now, as you can see, we've got easier access to get here. Now we just gotta mount the bar and uh, do a little wiring. So that's next. So one thing to note, just like with anything that you do to your truck, that's a modification, sometimes the hardware just won't work right. So I don't actually need these L brackets for this particular mounting situation. So I got rid of those, but uh, this is the hardware that came exactly with the light, uh, which is too short. So I just replaced it with a longer bolt. You can get this at, you know, Home Depot, wherever, um, and just used the rest of the same mounting hardware. You just gotta undo those two screws, pop in the new bolt, you should be good to go. Okay guys, so we're making some great progress. Um, as you can see, I have positioned it in there. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. Um, now for a little bit of easy wiring because I do run an S-Pod, which means all I gotta do is run a positive and negative to the S-Pod and take up a switch uh, spot. Other than that, it's pretty basic. Um, 
So let's do that, test it, make sure it still works. All right, so here's what I've done. Basically, you can see the little wire right there coming off the light, which I'm gonna zippy tie down here in a second. Running it through here, through here, bam, all the way to my S-Pod right there. Um, the S-Pod obviously uh, uses its own safety mechanisms with fuses, uh, relays, everything it needs to make sure that everything that's part of S-Pod is safe to run uh, and then gets its power directly from the battery. So um, should be pretty simple. Otherwise, you got this guy here, which is a just a generic harness you can get. Uh, I think they're like 40 bucks. This came with a switch, a relay built in, and of course a fuse. All I did was right at the end that connects to the light, I just cut off a long enough piece to be able to run it to my S-Pod. So that way I still get to use the uh, little pigtail here. Uh, so it's nice and uh, professional looking. All right, well, here's the final look. Uh, I think it's aimed right and uh, man, it just just gives it such a nice presence, doesn't it? Um, I think it really makes the front end look nice. Um, all right, so now we still got to turn it on. Let's see how she looks uh, when she blasts. I know it's daytime, but <laughs> we got to make sure she works. So one thing I feel I have to mention is that this is not actually the first time I've installed this bar. About two weeks ago, I had the same bar and I had the truck apart and was filming. And after I did the install, only half the bar lit up. Turns out there was a defect and uh, I had to ship it back. So it was a rare occurrence, but what's really great to see is Heretic Studio really stepped up. They um, got me a new one as quickly as they could. And uh, obviously this one is working perfectly. So just kudos to them for good customer service. So when you buy a Bantam, uh, you do get some uh, awesome stickers for the buttons, um, like here. And believe me when I tell you, they have, they've got stickers for almost anything you can imagine. So I just gotta find one that um, best describes what we just did. Do, 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 30 inch light bar. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, this one, I mean, there's bumper lights, it's just one light though. Hmm. Did we just stump the guys at S-Pod? Nope. Never mind. There's a 20. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys think? 20 inch light bar. Should that be the, uh, the descriptive term? I think so. So here we got the, uh, blank spot on the s-pod control panel and here is the sticker and placing it in there as neatly as i can voila so up top i got my 40 inch my ditch lights my roof lights my backup lights i have underhood lights i've got the 20 we just installed and then i got my front locker that's how i access that uh the differential for the front and then my air compressor for under hood. So my S pod is now full. I uh, kind of sad about that actually, but you can always get a second S pod if you need one. So that's the good news, but uh, there you go. Okay, so we're testing out our headlights and you can see they don't really start to illuminate until about 30 feet in front of the truck. Now the 20, once I flip it on, will fill that gap. And now you can see how much of a difference it really provides. Not to mention this light really goes all the way to the end of the street and it's really crystal clear. All right guys, that's a wrap on our install for the 20 inch Heretic floodlight on the front of this truck. Um, I just wanna thank you guys for sticking around to this point in the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or is there anything I can help answer, please put your questions down below. Um, I'll also include the link to where you could buy this light bar and others by Heritech down in the uh, comment section. And last but not least, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Um, give it a like if you liked it. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one.